tells us in John 3, 16, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. He was pierced for your transgressions. He was crushed for your iniquities. Hallelujah. So you do not have to go through the same sins your parents went through. You don't have to go through the same addictions that you found in your family. You have to be able to stand and say, I claim I claim the benefit of the cross over my life. The Bible says that he had took it upon himself on the cross. He's borne it for you. And if you can come to him and say, God, I am bringing this case before you. You cannot do it by yourself. You just have to appropriate the blood. Hallelujah. So this morning, we're going to appropriate the blood. And we're going to say, God, whatever you came to accomplish for me and for my family and for my children. Father, I believe that I will leave generational blessings. Hallelujah. Because Christ has redeemed us from the curse. If there's any illness in your life, you need to tell God, I lay it on the cross. And I declare that you have suffered it already. And I do not have to suffer it. It's a privilege to be here on a Palm Sunday, hallelujah, a day symbolizing the triumphant entry of Christ, hallelujah. Before he died, he walked through Jerusalem, hallelujah, and he rode on the donkey to signify preparing his triumphant entry, hallelujah, just before he died and gave his life on the cross for us. And this morning we celebrate that, hallelujah. And if you understand the season of Easter, your heart will be forever grateful, hallelujah. And this morning, my heart is forever grateful, hallelujah. And I believe we'll be thankful unto God. This morning, I bring a message um, in the theme of Easter, Christ bore it all, hallelujah. And as I was praying last week, the Lord laid on my heart to bring a message from Isaiah 53, hallelujah. And the, the Lord was impressing on my heart that there are many things that we are going through because we haven't identified with the fact that Christ took it away anyway. And we think that we have to go through it. Hallelujah. So I just want you to know that God is a faithful God. He who died for our sins. He did not just die for our sins. He took away our pain. He took away our shame. He took away the curses that we suffer. Hallelujah. And he doesn't want us to go through it again because he has borne it all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, I just want to bless you. I give you praise and I give you honor. I give you adoration. I just want to bless you for your faithfulness. I thank you for everyone represented here, O oh Lord, including myself. Father, as we go through this message, Father, speak to me, speak to everyone under the sound of my voice. Father, let your voice override my voice. And Father, cause us to hear thou sayest the Lord, let us know that indeed you have borne our pain, you have borne our shame, you have taken it all, you have taken away our curses, that we will become blessed in you. So in the season of Easter, we understand the divine exchange and we understand the purpose of the cross, that you came to suffer so that we do not suffer any longer. Father, I give you praise, I give you honor, I give you adoration. Father, because you are a good God, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. My message is going to be very short and we'll go into worship and we'll pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53. If you can put it on the screen, if you've got your Bible, open your Bible and just have a relationship with the word of God yourself this morning. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 53. I'll start from verse 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the verse 5 is where I will pitch my tent this morning. Verse, um, verse 1. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says in Isaiah 53, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar 
with pain, like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took our pain, verse 4, and he bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. Hallelujah. If you believe that Christ died on the cross for him, give him a shout offering, hallelujah. The Lord died for our sins, hallelujah. So the Bible tells us in John 3:16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life, hallelujah. And the book of Isaiah is telling us that, but he was wounded for our transgressions, for me and you, hallelujah. For our sins, hallelujah. For the sins committed by generations before us. And the Bible says that he was bruised for our iniquities. When somebody is bruised, the process of bruising, it's being beaten to the point where he oozed blood, hallelujah. He was beaten to the point so that we, our iniquities, will be laid on him, hallelujah. So for every bruise in Christ went through, we don't have to bruise, whether psychologically, whether physically, whether spiritually, we don't have to go through that anymore. Our sin has been taken away, hallelujah. And the Bible says that a chastisement that was laid upon him, of our peace, was laid upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed, hallelujah. hallelujah. By his stripes, we are healed. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that Christ came to bear all our sins and all our curses and all our pain and all our suffering and all our diseases. So we do not have to go through it all over again. So if there is anything in your life that you can identify as something you are bearing, then you know that you need to lay it at the cross this morning. You need to give it to God this morning. You need to tell God, you need to tell him that you've already suffered for that purpose. Yeah. And I don't have to go through it again, hallelujah. Sometimes there are things that are generational, that follow us, and we think that, oh, it's normal because it went through, mommy had it, daddy had it, or my, my, my siblings have had it. So automatically, it has to come. But the Bible says he bore it all. Because the Bible tells us that Surely he took our pain and he bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for your transgressions. He was crushed for your iniquities. Hallelujah. So you do not have to go through the same sins your parents went through. You don't have to go through the same addictions that you found in your family. You have to be able to stand and say, I claim I claim the benefit of the cross over my life. So if there is any disease in your life that you think that has been passed on because your mom had it, your father that the Bible says that he had took it upon himself on the cross. He's born it for you. And if you can come to him and say, God, I am bringing this case before you. And as far as I'm concerned, the Bible is telling me in Isaiah that you took away my pain. You took away my iniquity. You took away my shame, my suffering. And all the diseases, so that I will not have to go through that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So God has borne my pain, your pain, my failure, your failures. Hallelujah. So that we can be successful. Hallelujah. Amen. Galatians 3 verse 13. Hallelujah. Amen. If anybody finds it, if you are in the choir, you go and mic. Hallelujah. You can read it. What does Galatians 3 verse 13 says? Hallelujah. Christ has borne it all for us. We don't have to go through it all over again. He has become our shame so that we would not feel ashamed anymore. Hallelujah. He has become our failure so that we do not become failures. Hallelujah. So we cannot recycle ourselves in generational failures because he's, the Bible says in Galatians 3.13, if you find it, kindly read it for me. Hallelujah. Galatians 3.13. Hallelujah. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Having become a curse for us, 
For it is written, curses everyone who hangs on a tree. Amen. Hallelujah. So Christ has redeemed us from the curse, hallelujah, of the law, having become a curse for us. So if we believe that Christ has become a curse for us, and so that we enjoy the blessings of God, then we need not to go through the curses and the generational things we go through, hallelujah. Sometimes you look in your life and you are thinking, God, this looks like a repetitive thing, hallelujah. But God took it away, hallelujah. Once God brings that to your bearing and to your mind, then you need to be able to stand and say, Father, you took it away. You took my, my, my pain. You took my disease. You took my shame. You took that illness all in the body. And you, by your stripes, I am healed. Hallelujah. Amen. So you do not have to accept it. That doesn't mean that you stay in denial. You have to work and just tell the Lord, God, take that disease away. Take that pain away. Take that failure away. If there is a sin that you are struggling with, you cannot do it by yourself. You just have to appropriate the blood. Hallelujah. So this morning, we're going to appropriate the blood. And we're going to say, God, whatever you came to accomplish for me and for my family and for my children, Father, I believe that I will leave generational blessings. Hallelujah. Because Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Hallelujah. So I do not have to go through those same things that my mom went through, through those same things that my daddy went through. I do not have to go through those same things that my older brother has gone through. Hallelujah. Because once you come to Christ, the Bible tells us that you are a new creation. But the Bible says that behold, the old is gone and the new has come. And the blood of Jesus is able to cut asunder anything that is not of God in your life. Hallelujah. So you do not have to wait till you get to a point where you are beaten to the ground. You can stand this morning and you can say to yourself, Father, that you have borne my shame. Father, you have borne that sin. You have taken it away. You took it on the cross. So I can live a victorious Christian life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he loved us, beloved. He loved us so much that he went all the way to the cross for you and me. Hallelujah. He was spit on. Hallelujah. They spat on him on the, on the journey. They, they kicked him. Hallelujah. How many of us can go through that? for even our children, for even our daughters. We wouldn't because it is so painful. Sometimes even sacrificing a little thing for somebody is a difficult thing. But God did it all for us. He brought his son on earth so that you don't have to go through the pain. So you don't have to bear the punishment. Hallelujah. And the blood will speak for us this morning. The blood will speak against any negative patterns in our life. The blood will speak against anything that is not of God in our life. The blood will speak anything that, against anything that is in our children's life that is not of God. That the blood will speak against anything that is becoming a pattern, that is becoming a syndrome. Anything that is becoming an addiction in your life. Anything that is becoming a revolving door syndrome. That you, you, you tell yourself you cannot do it, you won't do it again. But the next minute you find yourself doing it. God says... He has borne it all on the cross. You don't have to go through it over and over and over and over. He's calling us onto righteousness. Hallelujah. If he bore it all, then it means that you don't have to bear it. You don't have to go through that shame. You don't have to go through that repeated sin. Hallelujah. Because even though he came on earth and he was human, he was still God. Hallelujah. He went through all the temptations. He went through everything that we can think of in this time hallelujah Amen. but the bible says that there was no sin found in him hallelujah Amen. so in this day and age sometimes we think oh it's easy but you can do it because christ has taken it he has already overcome hallelujah Amen. he's overcome sin he has overcome the challenges and we are able to go and appropriate the blood and the benefit of the blood over our lives hallelujah Amen. so this morning i want you to know that the blood will speak for you hallelujah Amen. The blood will speak for you. The blood will speak against generational curses. The blood will speak against any generational thing that is hinging on your life. That wherever you find yourself, you see it following you. Hallelujah. The Lord himself will be a covering for you. Because the Bible says that he took away all of that. Hallelujah. He took away all of that. 
He says that he took your pain. He bore your suffering. Hallelujah. He was stricken by him and he was afflicted for my sake and for your sake. Hallelujah. He was pierced for your transgression and he was crushed for your iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was laid upon him and by his stripes we are healed. If you are here and there's any illness in your life, you need to tell God as we pray that God, I lay it on the cross and I declare that you have suffered it already and I do not have to suffer it, hallelujah, because you have borne it all, hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles um, to Exodus, hallelujah. The book of Exodus, the book of Exodus chapter 12, hallelujah. Exodus chapter 12, the Bible says in verse 7, hallelujah. Verse 7 says that, And they shall take some of the blood and put it on the doorpost and on the lintel of the houses, for they eat, for where they eat, hallelujah. For I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night, and I will strike all the firstborns in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment, and I am the Lord. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses, hallelujah, where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, hallelujah. It says, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, hallelujah. I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you. When I struck the land of Egypt, hallelujah. So this day shall be to you a memorial. You shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout generations. You shall keep it as a feast by the everlasting ordinances. Hallelujah. The people of Israel went through their own processes and Pharaoh was difficult. Pharaoh was stubborn, but his disobedience cost him a lot. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that there was an instruction for the children of Israel to take a lamb and kill it and put the blood and that was a foreshadowing of what Christ was going to do on the cross for you and me and he says that as they put it on the lintel of their doorpost the angel of death will walk through but because of the blood they will be saved hallelujah Amen. they and their household and anyone in their house will be delivered. Hallelujah. So this morning I have come to let you know that because you have given your life to Christ, the blood has been appropriated for you. And this morning, because the blood is your covering, this morning, because the blood covers you and your children, you're going to know that God has said that your life will be preserved. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what you go through. God will preserve your life because of the blood. And sometimes if you don't know what the blood can do for you, you will suffer in ignorance. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. Hallelujah. For lack of knowledge, my people perish. And this morning, I want us to realize that the blood has so much potential. The blood on the cross has come to redeem us from so many things. I don't know what you are struggling with. If you will put it on the cross this morning, hallelujah, then you will know that he, he will give you victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to sing a song. Hallelujah. You did not wait for me. Hallelujah. That is the song that the spirit is laying on my heart to cry unto you. But you clothe yourself in frail humanity. Hallelujah. The Lord is a faithful God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We're going to worship the Lord for the cross. And I just want you to know that because he bore it all. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. If you want to sit down and worship your God, worship the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Father, I am forever grateful. Father, I thank you for your faithfulness. Yes, Lord. Father, if you are grateful for the cross, and you want to stand up, you can stand up. If you want to sit down, you can sit down. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you.
Father, we thank you for the cross. Father, we thank you for the blood that you shed on the doorpost, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, you shed on the cross for us. Father, the many stripes, O oh Lord, the piercing on your side. Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Father, we bless you. Father, even as we choose to worship you for what you have done for us. For your word says that, Lord, oh, you bore our iniquities, O oh Lord. You suffered for me, O oh Lord. You suffered for the children of Bread of Life Ministry. Father, that we will come, O oh Lord, and enjoy the blessings, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Yakata sheya babara bara bara baba. Yekete sheya baba. Yekete sheya babara bara bara baba. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Yakata sheya babara bara bara baba. Yekete sheya babara. I'm forever
this morning, I want us to pray. I want you to know that whatever is your firstborn, whatever is your first fruits, that the lost blood, the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary will be a covering of our it. Hallelujah. That every attack, every angel of death, every angel of destruction, that the Lord himself will take away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin to pray over your first form. Hallelujah. Your first fruit, whatever it is, begin to pray. And it came at midnight. And midnight is when we are asleep and we are forgetful of what is happening around us. But the Bible tells me that we serve a God who does not sleep nor slumber. Hallelujah. The Lord we serve does not sleep nor slumber. So he watches over us and begin to appropriate the blood over yourself. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the blood. Father, we thank you for the blood. You have done it all and we do not need to do anything else, O oh Lord. We just want to thank you for your faithfulness. Father, we thank you for your kindness. Father, I thank you. Oh, Father, I thank you for your faithfulness. Father, I thank you for your kindness. Oh, I thank you for the blood. Father, the blood that you shed on the cross. Father, it's speaking for me, O oh Lord. It's speaking for the people of Bread of Life Ministry. It's speaking for our children, O oh Lord. And I thank you, O oh Lord. I plead the blood of every first seed, O oh Lord. Every firstborn child, O oh Lord. Father, we declare that by the blood of Jesus. Father, nothing will by any means harm us, O oh Lord. Father, your word says, O oh Lord, that you have borne it up for us, O oh Lord. Galatians 3.13 says, O oh Lord, that you took, you were redeemed, O oh Lord. You have, you have redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. And begin to thank him. Hallelujah. Sometimes you prepare, but God takes over, and that is fine. Hallelujah. Father, I just want to thank you. I just want to bless you. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Begin to thank God for the cross. Begin to thank God for the cross. Begin to thank God for the cross. Hallelujah. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Father, we worship you this morning. Father, we give you praise. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Begin to thank God for the blood. We are thanking God for the blood. Hallelujah. Galatians 3.13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord, having become a curse for us. If you do not take anything home, just know that there has been a divine exchange for you. As we go through the season of Easter, that you will know that your Christ has borne all your pain, your sin, your diseases, your, your sicknesses, anything, your shame, your pain, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I bless you. Father, I worship you. You know why you have done what you have done today, and I say thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. I thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Father, we say you are a good God. It is not what man thinks of us. It is what you have done for us. That is what matters a lot. And we say thank you. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for sharing it for us. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. The Bible says in Romans 5, 23, says, whilst we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. We'll continue this message. Let's keep.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you have your plan and you have to yield to the Spirit of God. And whatever God has achieved through whatever we've done, I know He's a faithful God. And God willing, next week we will continue. Hallelujah. Just go home knowing that the God has borne it all for you. Hallelujah. God has borne it all for you. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you.